today we are going to read We Don't Eat Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. We don't eat our classmates. Hey kids, you will never be eaten by a T-Rex. They are instinct. extinct, I promise. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom brought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. <coughs> Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. Finally, the big day came and Penelope Ricks was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were children. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope Rex was determined to have a good first day. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope Rex was determined to have a good first day. Look at all of the people who got um um all bit on them. She tried hard to make friends at recess. She fingered painted some of her best work. She even Apple. saved Griffin Emily a seat at lunch. You can sit right on the plate. You can sit right here because then he will be the snack on there. And in the other page it showed that the picture of a dinosaur eating a person. And in the slide you can see has a picture of see um a people sliding down and into her mouth. Penelope started everyone started to notice that everyone was making friends but her. It was lonely. When she got home, her dad asked her about the first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked, did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe, sort of, just a little bit. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, you see, Penelope, children are just the same as us in the on the inside. Just take that dip a lot to think about. She also has a pony blanket. The next day Penelope tried really hard. But poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Miss Noodle Man, Penelope ate William and Moto again. And they were all afraid of her. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? Chomp! He cried him. Penelope, he's eating my finger. Wah! Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. She stopped eating her classmates. Even when C.C. Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. And soon Penelope made friends. Found you. Want a brownie? I helped make them. Now even when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it was like when someone eats you. And Walter stares right back at her and licks his licks. Because dinosaurs are delicious. Here's the um, outer book. And then I'm gonna show you the, you see, I'll show you the back. And now I'll, I'll show
also show inside this one. There's the fish eating a juice box. The apple juice. The one apple juice that Penelope left. I hope you enjoyed this book. Bye.